Welcome again to Bridging the Gap. This time we'll be talking about giving hope this Christmas season, the response to the hurricanes in Nicaragua, and a message from Rick Postma. Let's dive in. Bridging the Gap is where we connect you to the front lines. My name is Scott DeCourt, and we'll begin with Scott Kubin telling us about giving hope this Christmas season. Thanks, Scott. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Koopman. Today on Giving Tuesday, we're kicking off our Giving Hope campaign. You can purchase items from our gift catalog to bless those in need this holiday season. For example, you can buy a, a Christmas gift for a student in Columbia, or you can buy enough seed for a farmer in India to plant one acre of crops, or you can buy a motorbike for a teacher in South Sudan. You can see these items and many more online on our website at wordindeed.org slash givinghope. You can also watch our Facebook and Instagram pages for more details in the next few weeks. Thank you, Scott Koopman. The Giving Hope campaign will be running on our social media until the end of the month, so you can look for it there. Next, we'll hear from Carlos Coffin, the director of Calabriachos, which is our local partner in Nicaragua and he'll explain how they're responding to the hurricane disaster. Hello, my name is Carlos Coffin from Palabra Yecho, Nicaragua. So behind me you can see the devastation caused by two hurricanes in one month. There's a lot of people living in critical situation and trying to start again by their own self. But still there's a lot of needs of resource. In this context, Wernedit is helping some communities with the basic needs as food, walls for water, chainsaws for clean up the communities, and seeds to, for start to produce again. This is part of the response of people with Christian love. We can say thank you for support this project. Now $45,000 Canadian have been sent to Nicaragua and Guatemala in initial relief, and we do expect more to be requested. If you'd like to give to the hurricane uh, disaster relief response, you can do so through Giving Hope mentioned earlier. Next, Rick will give us a brief message about this year. Thanks, Scott. I think 2020 has been a roller coaster ride for many of us. It certainly has been for Word and D. When COVID first hit, our donations decreased such that by the time July hit, we were down about 30%. We laid those needs before the Lord, and we also communicated with you, our supporters, the needs for funding so that we could reach out to the needy, providing COVID food relief and helping our partners run the many programs that they have. We're thankful to the Lord that our donors responded generously, that you responded beyond all expectation, such that by the time November hit, we're on track to match last year's donations. On behalf of Word Indeed, our board, our staff, and our partners, I want to thank you for your generous support. Very encouraging for us. It's our prayer that the Lord would bless you as you come to the end of the year, spend some time with family, even though restrictions are in place, and we pray that 2021 will be a wonderful year for you, your family, and your churches. Thank you, Rick, and thank you all for your support and your prayers. May God bless you in the end of this year and in this Christmas season.